tumbling drill, so I, I want to be able to control the guy's head like this, okay? Number one, you're not holding on the neck. It's, it's too, especially with all these wrestlers and these side boxes, yeah, the necks are too strong. You're not going to pull anything down, so you actually want to be grabbing like the top of the head, okay? You can just overlap your hands. You don't need to interlock like this. Like this, and just hands on the top of the head, and we're trying to fold the head down like this. The elbows will stay in front all the time. So we're not flaring open like this. Almost never putting the elbow behind the head. So it's here like this, okay? He's gonna try and do the same thing. So it's just a basic drill, always get an inside position. So if you grab my head. So generally speaking, whoever has inside position on the arms is the stronger. So my job is to just get my arms on the inside. He's gonna do the same. Yeah, he swims one arm at a time, back into that inside position. So one inside, two inside. Remember, we're not shooting the arm all the way through. We're putting the elbow behind, it becomes very easy for him to get position on me, okay? So that's the basic gist of it. One big thing is your stance. The stance changes. So you're gonna square up, not only square up, you're gonna turn your, your feet out like this, like duck feet, the heels off the floor. Like this, you have no base left and right. So if Luke pulls me round, yeah, my feet are square, it's no good. If I angle my feet out, I've got much stronger base left and right, and my heels are off the floor, okay? And my hips are in and my head is up. His goal is to break my posture, pull the head down, yeah, and then start me in, okay? So it's hips in, head up, I'm also gonna shrug my shoulders as well, okay? So all the time we're doing this, he's gonna be the same. His feet are gonna be square and just angled out. So I pummel one in, two, once, I'm, once I've got two inside, he pummels inside. So I go again. Once you get the hang of it, or just keep pummeling. Once you get the hang of it, you're both gonna pummel at the same time. Because I shoot one, and all the time that we're looking up, we're not getting the habit of, of looking down here. I've always got my duck feet, and we're constantly pummeling at the same time. Like I said, beginners, that's it. Get both, he can get both, I'll get both. But once you start to get the hang of it, yeah, we're both. Comes again at home at the same time. Okay, guys. Remember, good posture. Use your duck feet so you're not getting pulled out left or right, and keep your, your hips in and head up. On three, guys. One, two, three. That drill. That's something you you must know. This is like always like the end goal to be able to control the guy's head. Like I said, he's going to be very strong. Very rarely is it me just pulling that's going to put him into this position. Once I do get something like this, I'm going to be moving and then going. Okay, but. This, when you, when you get down to it, when you get high level guys, you rarely get to this, because it's actually very easily countered, okay? Um, so a lot of times we're not actually gonna end up with this two hands on the head, and I'll show you, I'll talk, I'll talk about that later, okay? But like I said, once this guy gets really good, he's not, he knows I'm gonna try and get my arms inside. So he's gonna pull my head, that's it, he's gonna cover it here. See the elbows in like this, at very little space. So number one, really stay disciplined with your hips. If he's trying to pull the head down, don't just try and lift your head up. Walk your hips in underneath, okay? Duck feet, shrug your shoulders, okay? Hips close. So look, if I can't get inside here, I have to go over the top. And there's two ways to do it. I can go under the chin and just hook onto his shoulder and I flex my wrist and stretch my arm. Just get his head away from me. See how much space there is now? And then I can swim inside. So one swims inside, I have the space, and then swim inside again. If, if I can't get under his chin and hook onto this shoulder, sorry Luke, I'm gonna cut my hand over his nose and lips and just stretch it away. Okay, same, same result. I get him stretched away, there's loads of space, and then I can pummel inside. Remember, I'm very rarely just gonna be able to pull his head down, we'll try and do it with movement. So a little side step, a little back step, and then a pull. When you pull, you stand like this, you're trying to pull him around your hip. So don't straighten out your arms and do it like this. A little side step. Now you've got your posture broken, and then you can move. Okay, so this time when he controls, there's no space here. Number one, make sure your hips are in. Don't just try and lift your head up. Get your hips under, that feet, shrug your shoulder. If I still can't get in, I can go under the chin, hook onto the shoulder, stretch it away. Or, like with the big gloves, it's, it's hard sometimes, right? So you just cut your hand over his nose and lips and just, Smush his face away. Then the space, sorry Luke. And then pummel inside. Remember what I said, rarely 
is this going to be an option? So what you'll find a lot of the time is you'll get one on the head and the other one will go to the inside on the arm like this. Just make a hook. I don't want a Lego hand or, or like this because you can pull this back and elbow punch, rear clinch. I'm making a hook like this. If he tries to punch your elbow with this one, I can block, I still have control and I can still steer him as well. And also start lifting this up. Okay, so if you want to go here, cool. If not, let's go inside and try and wipe this off. Okay? All good guys? Yeah. On three. One, two, three.